Hello, everybody! I love the Cap 2000 here! What the hell's wrong with me? I don't know what's wrong with me. Welcome back to part 63 of Triangle Strategy. I am the devil on one King Serenoa's shoulders, guiding him through the wonderful world of Norzelia. In the last episode, we began the Endgame of Liberty. We completed chapter seven, uh, 18. Uh, and in doing so, we managed to kill Claris of the Norzelia Consortium, effectively ending it uh, with the help of Benedict. Now, we are still in the same field, if not slightly altered, and we have the same 10 units, and we are fighting up against Exham Marshall, the man himself who has been... He, he has not been here, it's, he has not been a very prominent threat in uh, the morality endgame. He was busy taking control of the Grand Norzellian Mines. In the utility endgame, he was our ally. This is the first route where it is possible to fight him. And we're going to have fun fighting him because he has Knight's Bane. And let me tell you, uh, one... Sir Maxwell is gonna have a grand old time kicking his ass until it turns blue. Anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna save my game real quick. I, even though I already saved, we have ourselves a perfect conga line of units. Let us begin the battle! For freedom and for liberty. The end of Exam. The legend dies tonight. A battle of conviction and ambition. But from where I stand, you are ambition incarnate. No matter, to the victor go the spoils. We'll see just how strong your convictions are when I crush you, Sarah Noah Wolfort. My convictions shan't fail me. If you think you can crush me, go ahead and try. Shall we begin? Oh. All right, let us begin. I shan't hold back. Let us hop blow. over here. Use triple thrust to wound this guy. That went well. Oh, that's a mistake. <laughs> that's it for the honor of House Wolf. <laughs> that was a mistake and a half. Eric, this bout is mine. God no damn it! Okay, I need to stop doing that shit. There is always a way. Prepare to face the dawn spear. Behold, that went well. All right. Guards of the southern ramparts, a welcome sight indeed. The enemy stands no chance against your might. I'll take you on! Uh, let's do sprint with Eridor Push so we can get him down to the battlefield quicker. Ready or not, here I come! And then let's throw out a decoy to just to get some hits off. Is this how it ends? Allow me. I think that's the first time I have ever seen Revival go off. Because he's just... He's very tanky. I know I'm doing something that could be considered quite risky. With the powers in me. So, it falls to me. Damn it, I can't reach him. A cold wind blows. My turn now. I'll do what I can. Must appreciate it. Let's heal. Let's see now. Well, if, if that were the case, I'd just jab him. You are not worthy of my time. You aren't fool enough to believe you can take the shield with that paltry force, are you? 
maybe we can. Your life blood shall paint my sword. Ugh. Wow, 240, 34 damage. If we can get rid of XM early, then that would be very beneficial. Shall we begin? Prepare to face the Dawn Spear. If I hit both of them, that will kill both, right? That will kill both. They'll both die from- they'll both be burned to death. Defeat is not an option. And I can kill the other one just fine. Oh, that one does not have fire! I see a path to victory. Nice job, Piccoletta. There goes him. Allow me. I can burn Stay you, right which will definitely help. Oh, it falls to me. Freeze you. My turn now. Uh. Kill you with her. Looks like I'm up. You're not getting away. Funk. Alright, here I go. Oh, that's another Christmas good guy's roar. <laughs> they are testing my limits. No, I am better than this. Stronger. How annoying. What did that do? <laughs> what did that even do? I see a path to victory. There is always a way. Now then, to work. Oh, I don't have enough TP for that. On my honor as the dawn speak. Ah, uh, there goes XM! Slayed by that went Maxwell. Well. My strength fails me. And there goes XM Marshall! The death of one Where saint! We, we are one saint down saint already. Here. Well, let's use my one and only HP recovery pellet, and then let me wait on Federica. Not Federica. Let me use Edge Dare for you. God, I love her movement! Seven movement is nothing to sneeze at. So, it falls to me. Prepare to face the Dawn Spear. Let us pry out their weakness. Well, let's give some extra defense to um I'll do my best. uh to uh, Giovanna. Defeat is not an And now option. it's just a matter of formality at this now point. I, uh -huh. We got rid of the the initial cavalry rush, which was really the only thing I was threatened by. I will end this. You won't beat me. All right. Allow me. There. Yeah, that went well. I utilized the ground here. Oh my God! I love this. Yeah. No. Now then, to work. All right, icy breath. Gonna go ahead and create I more frost. Triple thrust. I'll do my best. 
Dequi behind so that Maxwell gets another hit off when the Dequi comes around. Try my level Benedict, uh, Bolvart, they can play somehow. For the honor of House Wolfort. Sarah Noah, go ahead and just, oh, scratch that. Uh, if I move, like, closer here, yeah, then I can do that. That's a backstab, and that just leads the healer, which we can kill next time. Let me show you what I've learned. You won't beat me! No need to panic. Alright. Have to turn this around. I can flatter with the guy's roar. Let the very <laughs> land of Norzelia grant me my Now then, to work. Prepare to face the dawn spear. There we go. High jump. <laughs> I'm gonna high jump a healer. Boom! There we go. We did it. We beat. We beat XM Marshall. We kicked XM Marshall's ass. Is actually the more accurate phrase. I'd also like to point out. I think I've got more than fifty thousand funds. Uh, in like fifty thousand war funds. Get this mouse off! God damn it! I left the mouse on the middle of the screen again. That's probably bothered some people. I'm sorry, XM. Look at my puny ass non-blue sword. <sighs> Fight's not over. If I'm not dead, face me if you dare, Sarah Noah Wolfort. Our battle is done, Minister XM. Surely you understand that. <laughs> have I lost my touch? Strength and wit ought both have been on my side. Perhaps. But I have something greater on mine. Loyal companions who stand with me. Alone, I might not have stood a chance against you. But together, House Wolfort prevailed. <laughs> Is that right? Collecting skilled retainers and using them to your advantage. So, that is what separates us. There he goes. No, we are the same, you and I. My lord, they are about to fire the cannon. Let's go, 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 let's go. South we shall go. Let us end this war once and for all. Let's go! Come on, man. We got one. We got like one. Oh my God! That's the death snell. The cannon is ready, Your Grace. You need only give the command to fire. Oh my God! Look at it in all its might. Good. And the enemy has yet to notice us as we maneuver into place. Wolfhorn has proven themselves a decent distraction. A most capable house indeed. Minister of Esfrost! <laughs> but we cannot let them steal all the glory. Soon they will see what we are capable of. Get the cannon in position to fire at the goddess's sheep. Yes, Your Grace. Aim cannon! Yes, sir! Holy... In position! Shit. Fire! We have... Wherever... Pa wheresoever Passion's lead has been completed. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I've been at this, I have, I have recorded the entirety of this route in one day. I feel proud of that, you know? Eh, uh, whatever. Holy shit. Just like that. 
Just like that. The cannon blasts through the goddess's shield as easily as iron through flesh. And there's Miga, the remnants of my army. House Wolfort and the Asfrosti forces converge south of the capital. With their way in secured, they set their sights on the palace. Thus, the stage for the battle's final act is set. Chapter 20, Dance of the Automaton. Are you guys ready? Oh, uh, I don't think you guys are ready for what you're about to see. It's ready. I'm excited. The final chapter. Archduke Gustadol. What's up? King Serenov. Frederica. Thanks to your fine diversion, we succeeded in blasting our way in as planned. The goddess's shield crumbled in a single blow. That cannon is a fearsome weapon. I really, I really want to know how they transported that without them noticing. We used the explosives Dragan invented. They were originally devised for mining, after all. We shall use them only for that purpose in the future. Indeed. I have no desire to see wars waged with these weapons on both sides. <laughs> Thank God these don't live in the future. With the goddess's shield destroyed, the enemy will be preparing to flee. We must make haste to the palace. You shall go no further. Oh, hi, Camsel. Minister Camsel, Minister Lila. It didn't take them long to reach us. The saintly seven are formidable foes indeed. Indeed. We'll handle them, King Serenola. You should make for the palace. Copy that. Very well. No traitor shall set foot upon the palace grounds while we yet live. That is easily fixed. Then it seems your death is at hand. After them. Do not let them reach the palace. We must keep Wolfort's path clear. It's frosty. Charge! Oh shoot, Sycorus is with them too. I didn't even notice that. Literally, it's every NPC from Asphros with us. The goddess's shield has been breached. Isant is doomed. Calm yourself, Minister Tenebris. Have you no faith in the goddess? Do you not believe she will protect us? No, I mean, yes, but... Have you had a chance to atone for your sins yet? No, not yet. I would do anything to be absolved. Then you are in luck. I have a very special role for you. A command from the very lips of the Holy One. The, the Holy One? Come, Minister Tenebris. Oh, shit. Am I truly worthy of such an honor? That, I think, remains to be seen. You are to escort the Holy One to face the insurgents. After three playthroughs, the Hierophant herself will be getting off of her ass and fighting us. Face them in battle why so they may suffer the wrath of the goddess of course oh holy one let us gaze upon your countenance think What is this? The final chapter of the Liberty Route has you fighting the Hierophant herself. Because if there's no Hierophant, no goddess can speak to her. Isaiah loses all magnitude of all fortitude and disappears. 
the final battle awaits. But first, a even grander occasion. We have the f first of all, I want to do one thing. What are my conviction values? <laughs> I have no morality at all. That is great. But it is time for the final promotion of our army. Cordelia becomes a prayer master. And her health gets an exponential bump. I feel I can do this. You can do this. You can! Self-sacrifice. What does that do? Decrease your HP by 50% of your max health to recover. Oh my god. That's not great. Alright, with everyone in our party fully leveled up and fully promoted, it is time for the final battle. Well, not the final battle. It's time to start battle preps for the final battle. Minister Tenebris. Who is that woman with him? <laughs> Cyrano Wolfort. The blame rests at your feet. Your meddling forced me into this position. Let us pass peacefully and you will come to no harm. You speak as if I have a choice. Unless every last rebel is killed, Minister Edor will kill me. Killing all of us is beyond even your capabilities. <laughs> he did not charge me with your executions. The Holy One will see to that. All I had to do was escort her here. That woman is the Holy One? I cannot say. None have actually seen the Holy One in the flesh. <laughs> Do you understand what an honor this is? To witness not only her true form, but her true power! Suffer the wrath of the Goddess! The leader of the Saintly Seven, an oracle to the goddess. And if you notice she doesn't look that right, you might be noticing the fact that she is not exactly human. What are you doing? Run! Ah! What power is this? This destruction, this light, it's just like the Elfric. Lord Serenoa, I am not sure how it is possible, but I believe she has absorbed the power of the blast crystals. Is such a thing even possible? I mean, she's doing it. No. Not for a human. Are you saying the Holy One is not human? We must retreat. No, Lord Serenoa. Huh? I do not deny we face an enemy unlike any we have faced before. But to withdraw now will allow Hyzant to recover its strength. I thought you believed in what the Salt promises. I thought you were resolved to do whatever it takes to forge a better Norzelia. The future is as strange and frightening as any foe. How can you be brave enough to change one when you flee in terror from the other? Be not afraid to fight for your chosen path, Lord Serenoa. 
we will fight beside you every step of the way. And so, true Benedict. Two arms. Take up your arms, my friends. King, queen, retainer, assassin, healer, flyer, and armor uh, like knight. Sorry, I I butchered that. We'll strike down this so-called holy one and hide that wither. So anyway. Battle preps. As is tradition with the battle preps, the battles will, will consist of the two the best of units of our army to battle with and the OG squad. So we are bringing um, Anna, Gila, Duet, Eridor, Benedict, and Frederica. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five. That is the core eight. And for the most valuable units of this run, you guys didn't see most of it, but I would actually say Maxwell is one. Understood. And Giovanna was actually the other. You got it. And it's funny because Giovanna was MVP in the last run we did. So yeah. Um, uh, it's hard to say because. So, let's just go ahead and take a look at the Hierophant here. First of all, the Hierophant is actually made out of bloody glass. 853 health, very low for a boss. Goddess's Staff, not that dangerous. Uh, she requires at least four TP to do, 3 TP to do anything, and the Hierophant doesn't really get much TP other than her initial spells. Uh, the one she'll use by far the most is a Summoner. She will summon... These monstrosities, those look godforsakenly terrifying, and those are actually more threatening than the goddess herself, the Hierophant herself. So yeah, uh, her personal weapon is um, Divine Punishment, which it, it does exactly, it's her uh, the kill she just used to kill all of our generics. And then we have, like, I think eight regular guys, including two healers and a battle mage. One. No, uh, just two battle mages. So, yeah, no. Uh, bottom line, this is actually probably one of the easier fights to clear. Uh, however, getting to the Hierophant is pretty hard. Once you can take... If you can take one direct spell from uh, the Hierophant and not lose everyone, you should be able to bring her down in the next rotation. She does not go down very... Uh, she does not stay... take a lot of punishment very easily. Uh, the real problem is making sure that the healer dies and all the mages can, so it's really a matter of just carving a path to her, but once you carve the path to her, she really can't do much. Anyway, that is going to do it for this episode. Next time on Triangle Strategy, we see the end of not just the Liberty Route, but of all three conviction choices in Triangle Strategy's endgame. We are at the final path. Can we do it? Answer, probably. It's not that hard, not that out of the way. Uh, but until then, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter if that's something you care for. Join Lava's Museum to check out, uh, it's a Discord server you can talk to me, my friends, and see where I upload new videos! And have a nice day. Bye.